The best time to write. The best time to write. The best time to write. Is now. Is now. Now. The best place to write. The best place to write. The best place to write is here. Is here. Is here. The best person to write. The best person to write. The best person to write. Is you. Is you. Is you. If you're going to pick a woman, um, how about Mary, mother of Jesus, right? My son should have been a carpenter. He should have joined the union, paid his dues, married a nice Jewish girl, given me grandchildren like his brother. But revolutionaries get remembered. And he had it all. The hair, the voice, the temper. Just like his father, God, when he was angry. <laughs> but I'm no martyr. Just a mother who knows carpenters die old with calloused hands. Revolutionaries are snubbed out before their time. The legacy comes later, after the stones have rolled away and the smoke has cleared. Truthfully, he should have left divinity to me. Women always did make better gods. Creation <laughs> comes more naturally for us. And that may not sound like something the woman you read about would say, but books written by gods and men rarely get the women right. We either ruin everything or save everyone. Stones and sanctity are hurled at us in equal measure, and no one ever bothers to ask us what we want. All I ever wanted was for my children to be good, happy people. For all of you performers, poets, comedians, musicians, and storytellers of both fiction and nonfiction, Writing Nights is hosting our, I believe, a lot, eighth annual grand tournament, I think, seventh grade? Um, we do it every last Saturday of the year. So this year, like we all right, so previously we've been doing page round and stage round because we want we want to make sure our work works both when you read it and when you hear it. Before we would have people submit stuff and then we pick like the five best manuscripts and then have those people perform. But this year we're starting with the stage round, and so that's going to be pretty big. Um, the current plan accommodates 120 performers. So, we'd like to hit that. We'd like to surpass that, but we'd at least like to hit it. So, to further entice you, the champions of the five categories will win $100, and they will get a media release by Writing Nights. If you musicians will get the five tracks funded, uh, poets, storytellers will, also, will get uh, full-length books. Comedians can kind of go in between. They can do the five tracks. They can do the, but if you make it to the finals, you'll still get some. You'll still get something. We also have some side events. Um, we're gonna have a haiku joust uh, and a sonnet slam. So you, you could potentially get a number of books like in the in the chamber, so to speak, to a uh, form. Um, I will mention the entry fee is five dollars. But if you pay the entry fee, you will perform at least once. So, so that is that is something to entice you. And if you want to like gather your five best friends together and you all want to go, I will knock a dollar off of everybody's um, entry, and the teams will only pay twenty dollars. And teams are explained on the Ready Nights website. I have flyers for anyone who's interested. I will pass them around to everyone. And the hashtag is GT two thousand eighteen. So if you're like Holy crap, everyone has to enter because they do. They should. Um, uh, entries open March 3rd. They close the first Saturday of June, and all the schedules will be made by them. Dear John, my messy memory shoves shards of exploding truth back 
into deep darkness, denies them air, and they squirm, scratch, dig, stop my throat, still my hands, still my meaning making, force fill my feeling places. I lie quiet in the dark, thunder that rattles my roof, shakes my walls, unsteadies my steps. I wrap me, bury me under blankets till it passes, another year passes, and I claim success because I survive. Stop, try again. Dear John, there is no metaphor. I've played with symbols and rhymes, with end-stopped lines. I've played with everything. Nothing holds, nothing holds me, nothing holds me in this moment. There's no right way to hold me in this moment. Stop clearing your throat. Try again. Fewer than two months after my first slobbery wetness of unpracticed accidents, sloppy school bus school boy kisses made their way too far across my cheeks and face. A note folded 1980s origami style made its way to my 14 year old fingers. Souflat is a fake cute slut that doesn't fuck. I read the words aloud and laughed. My first jaded laugh. Those got me all wrong. I rolled over turned over. I'm not fake, and I'm not cute. When I refused to shrink from their labels, it startled people and I liked it. I liked that they knew that I was a slut, a slut that didn't fuck. I like <laughs> to think of better words like experimenter, sex experimenter, body scientist. My interest in bodies left marks. Mini marks, marker marks, purple marks, teeth marks, sheep marks, red marks, re marks, remarkable mini marks. Pins and needles lit up goose flesh, then faded into smooth skin marks. I studied friends' fleshy parts, studied my own. I looked for the language in lips and tongues and teeth and skin, sought the perfect communication of foreheads and finger twitches. Heard messages in the creek of springs, felt truth in the grass on my back by lakesides, poolside, street side. Let's meet in the secret mall halls and learn something new. And everyone knew I was learning, so yet, yeah, Bill got me wrong. I was not fake. I was not cute. Stop. Start. My mother said there were two kinds of girls, the girls who boys want to marry and the girls who boys want to have sex with, told me to be the former. I was the kind of girl mama warned me about. I was the kind of girl mama used as an example. Girls like that, girls like me, had it coming. Girls like that, girls like me, were asking for trouble. Notes in my locker, notes written in my textbooks, notes on my desk chair, notes everywhere. Why are you a whore? Girls who got notes like that, girls like me, had it coming. Girls who got notes like that, girls like me, were asking for trouble. Stop. No stay. Dear Sue, thank you for the nightgown, the tea, and the extra cigarettes. I'm sorry I didn't talk to you. Thank you for the cozy blanket and whatever lie you told me my own parents the next day. Thank you for the shower. Thank you for the shorts. Thank you for new underwear. Thank you for an egg sandwich. Thank you, thank you for driving me two blocks because it hurt to walk. Thank you for pretending to be sick two days later and convincing my parents I needed to rest because they probably caught a bug. Thank you for making for your sore for saying your sore throat was sore <laughs> to cover from my silence. Thank you for the tea. Thank you for the tea. Thank you for the tea. Um, we're gonna have. We're also gonna have vendors on Court Street. I pointed right where the sign. Court Street from uh, between six and third. Uh, we can't. We weren't allowed to get the uh, fourth and fifth street blocked off, but we're gonna find barricades. We're gonna do that. So if you're interested in being a vendor, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna make sure people don't run us over while we're having vendors and such. But. So yeah, so we're looking for vendors. We're also looking for sponsors. If someone wants to throw us $100, we'll put a banner up and you can be like, hey, we're awesome because we support this local grassroots uh, show. Um, we're gonna have shows at the local, we're gonna have shows at Icon Images on Fifth Street, and we're gonna have the finals and the two side events over at Kathleen Howland Theater on Cleveland Avenue, Blue Avenue Arts. 
And what's the date? The dates are July 27th. That'll be two shows. That'll be one show here, one show over at Icon. And July 28th, the, the shows will start at 12. They will end approximately 10 o'clock. Um, we're going to need judges. Uh, judges will get, like, uh, performance judges will get $5 off. Uh, like, so we're going to have little $5 vouchers that they can give to food vendors. Um, page ju judges will get a, their dinner comped, basically. Because we're going to sequester them in a room for about an hour and have them read through like the best of the written work, or the the best of the page, and then they, yeah. I'll explain it later. It's fine. <laughs> They're going to get their dinner ground. That's all you need. This is called the tragic circumstances involving Oliver Hayes. Writing night. Writing night. Writing night.